EA Sports coverage of the National Football League comes to you from Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, Michigan. Today we've got an intriguing NFC matchup lined up here as it'll be the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Detroit Lions. The punter Jack Fox has us ready to go and we are underway here at Ford Field. Cordero Patterson to return it, bringing it out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Ritter looking to put it up right away. Complete to Drake London. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. The end result, 21 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. First carry of the game now for the Texas superstar, B. John Robinson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second down at seven. On play action, here's Ritter. Steps away. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. We're seeing so far as the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back up in the front, the front up in the back. The pressure got up on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Third down, Robinson. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Sometimes you get all those big guys down there in one spot, and there's just nowhere to go. And in this case, the defensive tackle used his strength and swallowed him up. And look at this. They're keeping the punter on the sideline. They're going to go for it here on the opening drive. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Going for it on fourth down. It's Ritter. And he is caught. And he is going to have a Falcons first down. And they come up with a big one there to keep the drive moving and then some. Robinson up the middle. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like go. that each go. and every time, won't you? Here now, second and four. Let's go, Chuck. They'll run again here with Robinson. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. That's a good illustration of setting the edge as a defensive end, being able to make sure that you stay on your feet no matter what type of block, and you're not going to get pushed inside. Stayed home, skated to the outside, and made the play. Ritter throwing on third down. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Nero, what an effort to get in there and drop it. Uh, partner, you know what I'm going to say before I even say it. Yeah, you just cannot take a sack in that spot. You're exactly right. You can't take a sack in that spot. Potentially now, a three-point swing right there. So fourth and 15, but the offense is staying out there to go for it. Here's Ritter. Being chased out left. 
This is caught inside the 15. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Now Ritter to throw on first down. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. Flying in for that sack, Aiden Hutchinson. Charles, a little bit of feast or famine on this drive. They moved the ball okay, but they've been sacked twice now. And they've got to figure out how to plug Ready? that leak a little bit, right? Keep them away from the quarterback because when he's not being hit, as you mentioned, they're moving the ball Gita, well. Gita. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter now, Falcon football, as they've got it with a third down coming up. On the set. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Robinson will try to pick it up. Well, they needed two. They could only get one. Foot down. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. scrimmage the two they can still get a first down if they just get a yard out of this on fourth and very short Ritter will set up the throw it and he's brought down can't do anything with the football it's a sack and a turnover on downs the Falcons go for it but it doesn't work out and on the opening drive of the afternoon the defense forces a turnover on downs To Montgomery to begin the drive. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, He's got to hit the jackpot there. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Boy, that was certainly well read defensively. And the key to any screenplay is space to work. And there was nothing to be found there. And they tackle it for just a short game. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. From the gun, here's Goff. This pass down the field for Gibbs. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. To throw is gone. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And he is going to lose yardage here. 
A completion, yes, but certainly not what they wanted. A loss of a full six yards. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. So many qualities coaches tick off when they talk about, hey, what is it going to take to make an excellent quarterback? Accuracy has to rank near the top of every list. Talk about arm strength, that's great. Mobility, great, but you need that accuracy in there. That one well in front of his man. Yeah, now they got to face a big third down. 14. 14. DC, DC. Here we go, fellas. Here we go. Here we go. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. Cordero Patterson deep for Atlanta. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Ready. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind them, try to put together another drive. Yeah, simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time, they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. A seven-yard pickup. Brings up second and three. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. Come on, Here's six. second and three. Ten cycles. Two, go. Ritter to throw it. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. There's an incompletion, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The offense is going to stay out there. They've converted twice, failed once so far on fourth down. Let's see what's in store here. Ritter. That's to his running back, complete. Able to fight through one tackle. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. So the fourth down conversion sets him up with this. First and 10 at the 40. And they'll motion pits. Ritter on first and 10. Sets up the screen to Robinson. He's got room at the 30 and down to the 28-yard line. The Falcon passing game looking good on this drive as they get the first down. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to pull them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Now a second and ten. 
straight ahead. It's Robinson. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. Ritter with it after the play fake. Rolling to his left. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. It's second and seven from the nine. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. B. John Robinson as the first half is winding down. And the Falcons have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Now the extra point try forthcoming. It's good, and that gives the Falcons a 7-0 lead. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. Now Goff on first down. Flush to his right. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Time over. We are ready for quarter number three alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. Just the one touchdown in that first half. Seven nothing our score as we get going in quarter number three. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. ready to kick off their next drive. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. After the incompletion, they'll try once more from the 20-yard line on second and 10. Here's Gaw. Setting up the screen. This is Gibbs. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Third down at six. to throw, Goff. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. 
If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. To the air again, golf. And that is incomplete. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion force there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. They end up getting stumped twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. Listen, 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 listen. Here we go, Here we go. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's got Rome. And he's going to have the Lions first down. And he'll have it by plenty as it turns out to be a big gainer there on fourth down. Now it's gone. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. Here's Goff now on second down. That's complete to the Porta. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, they go Montgomery. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Now a play fake, and it's gone. The right's got it. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. It's the Lions trailing, but with possession of the football as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. Ball sits on the 10, second and five. From the gun, Gibbs will get it. And he takes this one in for the Lions touchdown. Jameer Gibbs, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Lions are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A four-quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tied football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is, is we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. 
Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. From his end zone, here comes Patterson. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And they no longer have the lead after that last touchdown, all tied up in the fourth quarter, and a chance for this offense to mount a potential. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Cameron Sutton. And the Lions will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. But we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally. And that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes. And that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. Super one, super one. Well, well, well. After the interception, here's gone. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately had an alert teammate who was able to get it. So they keep the ball, but work to do on second and long. Super one. Super one. Super one. Seven. 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 Now gone. He's airing it out for Williams. This is caught inside the 15. A big play there for Detroit. 49 yards. Talk about a momentum shifter right there. Tie game, fourth quarter. These are the plays that win you games. And now defensively, the question becomes, how do you respond? On first down, gone. Polluting the pressure right. And he'll be forced out of bounds, shy of the line of scrimmage, so that'll be credited as a sack. The defense showing some anger after giving up the big play. This time, they'll lose one or two. Behind the chain, second and 12. Goff now to throw. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Well, as we all know, possessions are crucial in a tie game. And let's face it, I really didn't need to tell you that. You already knew it. So when he sees he's got nothing good going, an excellent decision to just send that one to the sideline. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Now you won. Now go off. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. Badgley able to knock this one through. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. to seven. So he ran it on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there. A big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. Miller the man in motion. 
Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Ritter off to play fake. That's out wide here for Robinson. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. Ten yards there and a first down for the Falcons. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there and for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in go. the defense's column. Second down, eight yards to go. Hey, they'll man. motion pits. Second down throw coming for Ritter. Targeting pits on the L round, and he's got it complete. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. First down, here's Ritter. Throw out right, taken in by Patterson. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he will get enough for a first down, and that will lead us to the two-minute warning. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Hut, hut. Off the play fake, it's Ritter. Short throw to Smith. Sometimes it's hard to figure, but you can live with incompletions in this situation. You can't live with these short gains that take time off the clock. You know who loves it, this defense. Here's a second and seven. Watch out now, 50 period. Hand off now to Robinson. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. The sound reverberating here in the dome. This is third down. Third down, here's Patterson. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Get his three timeouts left, right? Think you got to use one here, don't no you? No doubt about it. I'd use one right here. Here's first down. Ritter. Here's a screen for Robinson. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Here's second and a yard. Ready? On the give, here's Robinson. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. 
Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. I know they got a little yardage there, but I'm not sure their investment is right. They're still running the football, and I'm not sure there's enough time to continue to do that. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. Shotgun handoff to Patterson, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. And they'll come up now. This is second and long. Ritter looks to throw it. Throw over the middle, going to be caught here by Pitts. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Ritter. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked by Emmanuel Mosley. And the Lions have just about sewn up this football game. And just when you thought this game might be turned on its ear, a late interception pretty much going to seal the deal. Yeah, boy, talking about having your backs to the wall. This defense, they look like they were in danger surrendering this lead, but they knew they needed that one play. And they got it right there, partner. And the Lions will take the knee here with victory in the cards. Well, obviously, Charles, this was by no means an offensive track meet. I mean, the defenses were the story of this ball game, but hey, they got enough points to get the job done. At the end of the day, that's all that matters. You're absolutely right about that, partner. In such a low-scoring game, it completely changes everything you're trying to do out there. Fortunately for them, they got just enough scoring to bring home the win, and in this type of a game, to play their defense, that became one of their biggest keys. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. It's a win for the Lions as we say so long from Ford Field.